Hey guys, this is DB126 here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon White 2. In the last phase, um, we went through the Relic Passage, and we've also caught um, Volcarona at the Relic Castle, which we failed to catch. But no worries, we can wait till like when we beat the game, then we'll be able to catch it again. But anyway, today we are going to be doing some... Uh, before doing the charge stone cave, I won't do it in this phase, but we're gonna do some surfing spots because the HM for surf is somewhere in here, and there's also one thing I want to do real quick is that I want to do one more battle. Oh man, I forgot about this. This there's some of these are fake Pokeballs, and they can be this Pokemon right here, Fungus, which is a grass and poison type. And it has really good defense and special defense, I think. Anyway. Now, oh, up there's a dead end. So we can't go there. Ooh, look at that, it's Shren. Oh, Danny, can you come with me for a moment? Because I just want there to be a battle, because Dragonfly, I really needed to get to the next level. No one really talks about... No, talks about it, but the record shows that there was a sudden drop in temperature near um, Lacunosa, te Lacunosa Town, whatever you pronounce it. It was only for a moment, but it went down as low as um, minus 58 Fahrenheit. Not only that, but similar temperatures were recorded around Castelia City and Driftville City. On top of that, that incident with Team Plasma. I think this needs some investigation before things go bad. I hate cold weather though. I'll give you this. It's the hidden machine that contains Surf. With this, please go to many places and check what's going on. Let one of your Pokemon learn Surf and you can travel across the water. And then we finally get HM03 which contains Surf. Oh, also one thing I want to show, um, here's my whole team, I got all my my guys up to level 34, and I did also catch this dueling right here, which is going to be my flash slave, but only for this phase, because we are going to go into this cave right here, where we do need flash. So let's get out of here, of this lab right here, let's see what it says. Researching the season research lab, okay. Yeah, we finally have another trainer in here because um, Dragonfly. I really want to. I really wanted to get a um, get to the next level. You guys will find out shortly, right here. But whatever. Um, oh man, I forgot to teach. I forgot to teach Surf to Shellblade. But whatever. Let's do it in after this. After this short battle right here with this Deerling right here. Like I've said, these things are easy as hell, because they go down with one force palm. And that takes it out. Now hopefully, Dragonfly will get a level up. Ah oh, man! Oh, well, it, I think it has like about 13 experience points more to the next level. But whatever, I think we're now going to teach Surf to Shellblade. So, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, there it is. So, let's teach it Surf. And... You know what, I think I'll get rid of Razor Shell for this. Because I will actually give it another move that I'll replace with Water Pulse. And, um, that's gonna be, um... Aerial Ace. Which we'll get um, until we arrive at Mistralton City, which is the home of our next gym, of our next gym battle. Up here, we can pick up a Moonstone, which um, I don't know if there's anything, in, if there's any um, fifth, gen, fifth gen Pokemon that evolved with that. I'm not sure, but if you have a Clefairy, actually, which they did add to the Pokedex in this game, then you can evolve it into a Clefable. Water Absorb and Dry Skin. Pokemon with those abilities love water type moves and rainy weather. The gym leader in Aspersia City is very similar with Pokemon abilities, isn't he? Oh, do you know him? Then you can ask him about abilities through the Cross Transceiver. Yeah, it's actually, um, you actually pronounce it Aspersia City. I used to pronounce it Asper Aspertia City when I, first, when I first started this playthrough, but whatever, I know how to pronounce it now. 
Yeah, I do want Dragonfly really to get a level up, because then it will be able to learn Fly. And then I'll finally get something better than Bide. So let's test out our new Surf right here. Which I might actually keep on Shell Blade until it gets, um... Until it gets Hydro Pump, which will be at a really late level. Yeah, Dragonfly! 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 You finally level up. You guys will find out what's gonna happen in just a few minutes! If we kill this Carablast, these, this Carablast and Shelmet with Surf. Alright, you guys are gonna see in just one minute. You guys will see in one minute! Let's see what happens. What? Dragonfly! Dragonfly is evolving! Finally, it's about time, guys. Dragonfly isn't slow anymore. It was a p very slow, pure ground type. But guess what? And now it is a Vibrava. Just look at it, that's why I named it Dragonfly, because it does look similar, Vibrava does look similar to a Dragonfly, actually. And it will try to learn Dragon Breath at this time if you're using one like I am. I might actually teach it, since I will give it, um, since um, I will give Dragonfly Fly instead of Bide, um, I just think I'm... Well, we'll get rid of Sand too, maybe, because, you know, I never use it that... I've never seen myself ever use Sand Tomb. Yeah, finally, guys. Dragonfly. Dragonfly finally evolved. As you can see, it now gets the Levitate ability. And, uh, and now it becomes a lot faster, which is really cool. So let's get the experience share off Dragonfly right here. And we're now going to teach it Fly. Now where is it? Ah, there it is. So now we have, um... So now we won't have a hard time handling those grass types. Uh... Yeah, let's get rid of Bide, because really I never used that. And I really had to get something better than Bide. But yeah. We now have a Vibrava. Really cool. My first Pokemon up to level 35. Alright, so, um, up here... Oh my god. Why does it have to be another Fungus? Yeah, they're actually known as fake items. That's what you call them. So let's just run away from it. And, um... I won't pick the other one because I'm... Because that might be another Fungus. So let's just use Surf. Let's Surf up here. This is one of the surfing spots we can go to. And up here you can pick up a PP up. Now the place I want to go is that, that cave up there that I'm nearby. Um, we're going to do that cave. Oh, but before doing that, um, let's just fly somewhere now that we have a vib now that we have a new Vibrava on our team. Let's fly to um, our hometown of Spurcia City. Long time no see that we've, we've... We haven't been there in a long time, actually. And how can you fly in a Vibrava if it looks like a bug? If, if it looks like a dragonfly? Ah, Nintendo logic. I mean, could it grow, like, big? and then it can fly on you. That just makes no sense. But whatever, up here, you can pick up TM53, which contains Energy Ball. Really good grass type move. Has 80 base power and also has a chance of lowering um, special defense. So let's fly back to where we just were, which is right here. Um, which is actually by Driftvale City. That's actually the first surfing spot that we can go to. Let's just bike down up here. Let's just bike down here. And we're gonna use another repel. And um, let me try to avoid this trainer here. Look the other way. Just look the other way. Uh, uh, ah, there we go. And you can also surf up here. 
let's see what this what this is. And up here you can pick up another hard scale in case you want to reteach moves. Anyway, let's go up here. And I believe we're supposed to go... Um, I think we'll just do these trainers, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, let's see if this person's a trainer here. Ah, yes! And then I'll do those Pokeballs right here. And really, if they're not... If, if it's really another Fungus, I'm really gonna destroy my DS. I'm just kidding. So right here we see another cast form. And like I've said, they're pure normal types when there's no weather. So they're only weak against fighting type moves, as, as everyone knows. And like if it's hailing, it will turn pure ice. It will be pure ice type. And then if it's like if it's sunny, then it will be pure fire type. And then all the weather things. And I think if there's a sandstorm, then it becomes rock type. I'm not sure. Let's go for um, Water Pulse right there. Wow, Shell Blade. You got a ton of experience points right there. Okay, let's see. Oh man, why does it have to be more Fungus? Okay, let's just run away from this thing. Let's run away from it. And up here's the real item, which is an Ultra Ball, in case you want to catch some Pokemon, which we will actually be catching a new Pokemon. Oh um, What did I just hear? Cobra! Is it a Cobra? Ooh! Cobra! I actually saw that Pokemon in this, the new Pokemon movie that's coming up. It's actually called Kyurem vs. the Sword of Justice. Ooh, who's that? That Pokemon. It's called the legendary Pokemon called It's the legendary Pokemon called Cabalion. I told you the story the other day, right? Oh, Cabalion! What a noble presence! They say the three Pokemon, Cabalion, Verizian, and Terrakion, fought against people to protect people from the war those people started. When people fight, there's no peace for Pokemon either. The three legends learned that the deeds of humans could lead to dire consequences for their world. But why did it show up in front of people? Isn't is it patrolling the Unova region to protect Pokemon because it fears for their safety after the commotion caused by Team Plasma two years ago? Or does it sense a new problem? So the, so the reach of gets this is up ambition is up and malice is growing ever and wilder and warping the lives of all it touches. Did Cabalion appear in front of in front of you merely by accident? Unlike Lord N, I I don't have the ability to understand the minds of Pokemon. But if you can befriend Cabalion, it will be a great asset to you on your journey. Yeah. If you guys watched the trailer, the pre, yeah, the trailer for um, the new the, po the new Pokemon movie that's coming up, Kyurem vs. the Sword of Justice, um, then you guys may have seen Cabali in there. All right, let's see what this guy has. Charge Stone Cave is great. The Ferrisie there, the Ferrisie I met here were absolutely adorable. In the anime, they actually pronounce that Ferrisie, but I like pronouncing it Ferrisie. Anyway, let's just surf here. Oh man, I forgot about you. Well, whatever. I was about to off-screen that guy right there, but I accidentally pressed the up button. And great, another Whirlipede. We fought many, lots of these things back um, since the Verbank, since the second gym, which was the Verbank City gym. And also, I found out that Roxy was a cheater. I didn't even notice that Rolipede evolves at level 28 when I recorded that video with Ro when I recorded the Roxy battle. Like, I didn't even notice that. Um, I didn't even notice that Rolipede evolves at level 22. So I thought it evolves at level 19. But anyway, for this fungus right here, I'm gonna go to our new Vibrava, which is Dragonfly right here. 
Let's go for a fly. We're gonna see how it will do. And also, um, Vibrava, I... Oh, why did I miss? Just why the heck did I miss? Wow, the first time I use fly, I miss. Alright, so for the... What I was trying to say um, is that Vibrava also becomes um, gra becomes ground and dragon type. Like I've said, that's why I like it. Because, um... And... Yeah, because I'm the dragon master. If you guys watch my Pokemon Heart Gold walk... If you watch my Heart Gold walkthrough, I did use a Dragonite back in... Um, I did use a Dragonite um, back in that walkthrough, which... Officially, he's cancelled. I don't know when I'll start it again. No, whatever. We're gonna... I mean, up here, you can pick up TM56, which contains Fling. Um, it's a Dark-type move, and... Um, doesn't have a base power. It depends. And it basically, um, throws the item that you're holding, and then... After you use it, the item disappears. So that's why I don't really like it. But anyway, up here, we're in the Miss Ralton Cave, and let's use Flash real quick right here. That's one of the things you need if you're going here. Anyway, um, new Pokemon you can find here in the Miss Ralton Cave is two new Pokemon. The first one is Axie, which is a pure dragon type. Um, I did use it back in my original black, which I am playing now, and it they're really powerful. They're a really powerful physical attacker, and they have really good speed. And also, they also have decent defense and special defense, so really good stats there. It's pretty much like a more, a more powerful version of Sandile, I guess. Um, the other new Pokemon you can find here is uh, Aron, which is a rock and steel type. I was about to use it on my team. Um, and um, and Aron is, is also a physical attacker, and also has really amazing defense, but it really isn't that fast. But anyway, uh, let's um, let's explore the Miss Ralton Cave, I guess, and see if there's any trainers right here. And also, if you're using an Axew on your team, it will stay pure Dragon type when fully evolved. And the same for Aron. Let's see what this is here. Oh man, I forgot it was a Drillbur. Whatever, we're still gonna do this. Nah, I'm just kidding. I won't do it. So we're just gonna run away. And Shellblade's close to evolving also. It's just one level away. We do have a few trainers here in the Miss Ralton cave actually. And also, um, this is actually um, this is new to black and white too. Um, you get to go here in the Miss Ralton cave before the before the sixth gym. Back in the original um, black and white, you have to beat the seventh gym in order to get here because you get the HM for Surf. Like um, after you've beaten the gym, and then you have to beat your rival, which was Teren, and then he would give you like the HM for Surf, and that's how you would. Um, and that's how you get here in the Miss Ralton Cave. Well, let's go for a Water Pulse instead. Because, as you can see, it survived right there because it has the sturdy ability, so it, I can't want to KO it. Hopefully Shellblade's going to grow a level, which it does. Alright, so I think I'll put Bolt up front, because we might be seeing um, some, uh, some non-ground types in here, I guess. So we have two Pokemon at level 35. Um, which are Shellblade and Dragonfly. Let's push this boulder down. Oh, what's this guy doing? I heard there was a legendary Pokemon in the in the Miss Ralton in the Miss Ralton cave. Yeah, I think it was Cabalion Kaba because um, the room that I'm about to go to, you could actually find Cabalion in there. Up here you can pick up a Dusk Ball, which is a new Pokemon that we haven't seen yet. In case you want to catch an Axew here, or an Aron. And I did... And if you guys don't know why I was about to use Aron on my team, not only is it because of its really amazing defense, it's actually because I have this new nickname that I made up, which I, I actually named to a lot of Steel types that I use, and it's actually called Ironite. 
And there was also this... Also, there was this other Pokemon I was about to use on my team that we cannot get until, um... Uh, we can't get it, um... Until... Um, like the 8th gym, I think, in the giant chasm, and it's like Matang. I was also about to use that thing on my team. But I think this will be the only walkthrough where I don't use a pseudo-legendary, like, like Matang. Or, no, Metagross. That's what it's called. Not Matang. <laughs> anyway, let's just dig this Onyx right here. And, also, how... How can an onyx even go in this cave? It's it's like too big to go in there. It would like destroy the whole You jerk. Yeah, that's what I hate about Dragon Breath. Whenever you use it, it never paralyzes the opponent. But when your opponent uses it, it never paral Ah! Why did I get parahacks there? Can't wait till we get full restores later on. Let's heal up Gatorade. Alright, so let's now go for a dig. Now that our now that our paralysis is healed. And hopefully that will take it out. And it does! Oh yeah, I forgot I gave the experience here to Bolt. Anyway, let's put Ryu up front. Let's push this boulder down and see what's in here. Oh yeah, that's the entrance. Um, up here you can pick up a yellow shard. These shards are actually useful because um, there will later on, later on in the game there will be a move tutor that I I really want to go to, and you need like seven blue shards in there because I want to teach Dragonfly Dragon Pulse maybe if I don't use Dragon Breath that much. Because again, Vibrava has decent special attack, so I could actually teach it that. So I think that's all of the Mr. Alton Cave. We can't go here because this guy's blocking the way. I don't know when I'll do that part. Maybe when I start doing legendaries. I'm pretty sure you can catch... Oh no, I said before you can catch Cabalion here. Um, back in the... in Black and White 1. Like after you beat the 7th gym. So we still have, um, we have a few more minutes. We have only, like, I have, like, one more minute left, so, uh, we might, I might do one more trainer, I guess. Oh, oh yeah, I have Ryu up front. But first, let's see what's in this house here. Maybe I should go to the Celestial Tower in Route 7. And then, this person right here is gonna heal us up. Thank you, ma'am, for healing us up. You're the best. Miss, here, have this, and then she's gonna give, um, and then this kid right here is gonna give us a shiny stone, which, um, if you have a Minchino, you can evolve it into a Chinchino. Or if you have a Roselia, then you can evolve it into a Roserade. Or if you have a Togetic, you can evolve it into a Togekiss, which I'm pretty sure they did add Togekiss in this game, I'm not sure. So, we're here in the Charged Stone Cave, and... Oh, uh, let's see what's in here. Oh, that's where I just was. Alright, so I think I'm gonna end it off right here. So next time, we're gonna go through the Charged Stone Cave, and we're gonna do a bit of training there. Alright, I'll see you guys then.